girl Cuba coming at you naturally the K and I'm just stopping in just to say hey um tell you a little bit about what's been excuse me y'all going on um with me so I hope everyone's having an amazing day <sighs> happy Super Bowl Sunday if you don't know you guys I live in Kansas so of course we were rooting for um Kansas City Chiefs as we did last year and every other year but unfortunately we just couldn't do it this time um but that's okay um so good thing that we made it two years in a row to the super bowl, bowl. um our team is young uh, we were missing some players um and we just didn't execute in a manner in which we should so but that's okay um we are still proud of you guys Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes, everybody. I don't know everybody's name, but yeah, so I just wanted to stop in with you guys. I had a, um, yeah, I just been missing y'all, just a lot going on, trying to work on myself spiritually, um, and just trying to have a deeper relationship with God, um, because I found myself spiraling out of control with depression, and I know I talked about that in a previous video, um, you know, just in the midst of the pandemic, um, learning to work from home, learning to teach your kids from home, um, a lot of deaths in the family. Um, so it was just a lot. Um, but I'm happy to be back. I just want to, I don't know, I like to cook, but every time I be cooking, I be like, I should have recorded that. And then I didn't. So I have me a couple of new, I always use planners, I always use books write on stuff, write notes and stuff. So um, I'm just going to start planning out the videos that I want to do for you guys. Um, but I want to also say thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And I've received, I, I've gained some new subscribers. So welcome to the channel, you guys. Um, you, one thing that I can tell you about me is I'm completely transparent. So what you see is what you get. Okay. So since I've been working from home, I've gained a lot of weight. And you know what? There's some days where I care, but for the most part, I don't even care. Like, I feel like I'm, I mean, I know I need to do better because I don't even work out. I don't walk. I don't do anything like I'm supposed to do. So, um, and that's part of, you know, why I was feeling the way I'm feeling or was feeling. I'm getting better though now, y'all. Um, I am in my home. You guys never see the, the downstairs, but I do have a downstairs um, with an office, which is what I'm in now. I use it as a spare room. And then um, I have a room down here. And then, of course, the family room is down here. So I know you're probably like, why she got two TVs? I'm going to tell you what. So the TV on the wall was just there. So that was always there. The Samsung and then this one over here is a Roku TV where this one's not so um, and this is the one that I had upstairs but I got a bigger one so I just brought it down here and it's in the spare room so then you have to if you want to watch cable then you watch that one if you want to watch you know like Roku YouTube um, HBO Max that kind of stuff you you watch it over there and that's just temporary I don't plan on being here too much longer I'm actually in the process of looking for my forever home um, this home I purchased about 11 years ago was my first home. So, um, yeah, I'm tired of it. But anyway, um, yeah. So I just had to come to realization. I'm like, how many times have I refused to be? happy how many times have I refused to be happy because I'm running back old thoughts in my mind or past hurts or past traumas um, in my mind and forgiveness is really key um, in order to grow spiritually um, and I, I don't I didn't and it's really hard and I hadn't done that um, so I had a lot of past things like you know, growing up childhood, you know what I'm saying? I had a great childhood. Um, but, you know, just things that even being a teenage mom, you know, how I affected my kids not knowing how to be a mom, you know. 
Um, and so all those things were kind of weighing heavy on me. Um, and then not to mention life was slapping me around like I didn't belong, you know? So I've just kind of learned to shut down negative thoughts um, and really truly show, sow seeds, good seeds. Um, and that's in the way that I speak. Um, now, I'm not perfect, but I'm, you know, like I said, I'm working on it. Um, I'm reading the Bible a lot more. Um, just trying to understand who God really is. You know, you grew up in the church. And, you know, you tell you about the God, you know, God, Jesus died on the cross for us and all that. Um, and then that's pretty much where the focus was. But when we truly really think about it, like his dying on the cross for our sins. I mean, that's enough in itself. Um, but when he asked us to be Christ like he came down here to show us how it was to be done. So no matter what he went through, you know, he still remained nice. He still remained loving. And that's what we got to do. We got to be a better people um, with that. And, you know, with all the racial equalities and things like that going on, I find myself, I, well, I'm getting better. I, if y'all, y'all know TikTok is that algorithm, baby, it will take your whole life and have you cross-sided. Um, and then, um, so just going back and forth with, um, looking at all the negative stuff with Trump and um, people using the you know N word and just really dogging us out. So, and when I was saying bad things back or thinking bad thoughts, those were the seeds that I was sowing. So we have to take our walk through life. Um, knowing that everything that we do, every action, there is an equal reaction. And so when you know that and you read that Bible and you know how God was whooping their tails back then, honey, I don't want to be on the end of that. I do not want to be on the end of that. So I'm just trying to change up some things that I do. Um, one major one instead of saying like good morning which is like morning 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 that's not a good word so i just say grand rising so in the mornings grand rising high rising it's just different um and like when people talk about chasing the bag why is money running away from you hmm Money should be coming to you. I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. I am more than enough. And so we just got to change that up. And then also, like I said, forgiveness. And then truly, truly, truly love people where they are. Okay? Doesn't mean they have to be in your life. But we do have to love them. And that's just it. And y'all, my skin... Is really really like I I mean I take good care of my skin I scrub it and stuff and moisturize it and do these lips but guess what y'all probably know what I've been using I've been using it for like eight or nine months is the um, Pond's gentle cleansing foam and the Pond's moisturizer um, I get it from the Dollar Tree y'all I'm on my cycle so. She done popped up acting a mess. And I don't bother them. They can be as big, as white as they want to be. And then when they go down, it'll be a little dark spot. Don't bother. Continue your little light scrubs, your foams. And then um, it'll eventually fade away. So, But yeah, y'all. I'm really working a lot. Something that we don't talk about. Um, not only in the African American community, but just period is mental health. Um, so when you are depressed, you have anxiety, um, you have been diagnosed with like bipolar, all those things are, all of those are mental health issues. Um, and it's something that you can get help for. 
Um, but you just have to be af not afraid to talk about it. You know, when, pe when you tell people or people may say that you're crazy because you have those type of issues, but it's not. You're not crazy. You're not crazy at all. Um, what that tells me is that you are chosen, honey, and the enemy is working super hard to break you. Okay? Um, and so once you get your mind under control, then your mind can truly merge with the Holy Spirit. Um, and you will be able to, he will be able to work in your favor if you can do that. But if you have something over here telling you, you can't do this, you ain't worth nothing, you ain't, ain't going to be having nothing, you broke, blah, 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 all this chatter in you. And God said, I, I'm anything that you ask for. I'll give it to you, you know, but it's being side chattered by something else. And we have to really learn how to shut those thoughts, those negative thoughts down because they are holding us back. Um, they are holding us back from our blessings, from our miracles, right? Miracles is just an expression from God and it's really holding us back because we are battling with ourselves. We are battling with ourselves. It's just crazy. And even the Bible talks about that many Christians will fail. But a lot of us are just walking dead because we just don't know. And we don't know because we don't read. We don't know because we don't read. So. It's just crazy. We have to love God with our mind, body, and soul. It cannot be one without the other. It has to be all or nothing. All of nothing. Because when our minds yield to God's anointing, that's where God likes the fellowship. He will come hang out with you, honey. Hey. Hey, Keila girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's what you actually need so if you are battling with mental health the Holy Spirit has the power to clear your mind and you want to fill it up with good stuff you want to be living in the overflow okay in the overflow I'm living in the overflow I'm living in the overflow like I want to be living in the overflow <laughs> yeah but I need to do better because better with my videos because I'm noticing like I could think of something long before months before and I never do it and then I look up and then somebody else has already done it when I could have been the first one done it. so yeah. So I wanted to share some, ex well, one exercise that I've been doing um, to help me do this. So like, you know how you, if you're trying to be delivered from some things such as depression, anxiety, um, so you just have to give it away. You have to release it and never, you know, come back to it. So like alcohol, Holy Spirit, cover it with the blood. I won't be black. I won't be back. Like, I'm not coming back to that no more. Or anxiety. Holy Spirit, cover with the blood. I won't be back. I'm not coming back. Holy Spirit, cover this pimple with the blood. Because she won't be back. At all. So, yeah. One thing about God is we have the ability to hold him account. We have the ability to hold God accountable. Because if God's to his word, so if he said he's going to take care of us, he's going to take care of us. And that's just what it is. And that's on period, poop. Purr. But anything, anyway, at this time, I'm just rambling. So, one last thing before I let you go. 
make sure that you do everything everything that you do needs to be done with intent with intention because god is an intentional god and you are to be like god so everything that you do should be intentional which means it will never be it will never fail if god is in it if god is in it there is no limit Whatever that song is. Y'all know I can't sing, but you know, I will sure. Oh, see there. I caught myself. I can sing to me. <laughs> you might not think so, but I can sing, honey. I can do and be anything that I want to be. Best believe. So when you're thinking about sowing your seeds, um, just make sure you are you have gratitude. You are reflecting. Okay? Like I just reflected just that quick when I said I couldn't sing. That's something that I'm putting out into the universe. And then I have to release. You have to release those things from you so like i said if it's infidelity if it's hurt if it's trauma those things cannot be holding you back um how many times and i'm saying this because it's for me but i wanted to share with you be transparent with you how many t i know for me many times that i had woke up i didn't had a whole shit show in my brain about a scenario a story or something that I'm thinking might happen and I can play the whole thing how it's going to happen. And it ain't even happened. Stressing myself out. I'm all worried and stuff about something that hasn't even happened. At all. At all. And those are the things that we need to... The mind is very powerful. And when it gets to act in a whole mess, we need to tell it to be quiet because we running this shit, baby. We running this Okay, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding in all thy ways, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Hallelujah. <sighs> Mm. Before, well, I keep saying before I go, but one last thing that if, if this helps anyone, also, I want to make sure that you guys are not worrying about other, other people's opinions of you or trying to live up to other people's expectations. Um, it's not for you. A lot of times we, our minds and our bodies are like bank accounts. So we're given a certain amount. And what we tend to do is we tend to give and give and give and give until we're bankrupt. And then you know what? We still try to give. I ain't got a pot to piss in, but we still trying to give. So what I had to do too is just cut it off. That's why I come down here. I come down here in my own zone, in my quiet zone. I have become codependent on my children always needed them around me like no i need to be by myself i need to meditate i need to listen to the scripture that says be still peace be still and know that i am god i need to just sit in my quiet zone you can see i got shoes over there i usually have more over there but sometimes i come down here i get in take my shoes off put them over there go about my business I, i'm always in my house shoes but yeah I, i'm just gonna start trying to come on and do more vlogs um for you and then even actually plan some videos for you as well um i'm gonna have to change my my intro because it says a new video every wednesday saturday and sunday i know for sure i can get you one video a week for now until i get my life together um, and then I'll go back to doing it more um, because my job is 
really challenging. There's been a lot of different changes and things like that. So I got to make sure that I am doing the best, being the best leader that I can actually be for my people. Um, and, and that's mentally and physically as well. Um, so I'm going to start going, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do, keep on the, start doing the intermittent fasting or the keto, or I might just do them both, but I do know I need to do something. Um, but I also need to, I, I quit eating cheese, but my stomach is still hurting. Um, so there's some, something that's still triggering my stomach to blow up like a bomb. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to look for more gluten-free items and then see how that goes because it will blow up like I'm pregnant, like it'd be hurting like that. Um, and I've had tests, sonograms and things like that. They can't, I mean, I do have fibroids, but it's something else that they ain't telling me. So, but I am healed. Hallelujah. Well, you guys, I just wanted to stop in again. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. It's your girl, Keela, coming at you naturally, Dove K. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, y'all. Help your girl out. Tell a friend. I appreciate you. Peace. Peace and blessings. Mm -hmm.